Well, guess what? TiVo has a very special report for us this morning, don't you, TiVo? Thanks, guys. I certainly do. This is a story that is uh, extremely close to my heart. A group of West Australian surfers bringing so much joy to children with autism. They're called Ocean Heroes. They volunteer their time to take the kids surfing. And it's not just in my home state of WA. They're so in demand, they've taken over beaches across the nation. And just over the weekend, they were invited to Melbourne's Urban Surf Park. Sun, surf, and plenty of smiles. This is the kind of joy every parent hopes for their child. She um squealing away. It's great for her self-confidence. Is that her? Yes. And she's just standing up. So. We would, we would never have an opportunity you know, to do this kind of exposing her to activities like this and the confidence and the guys are great because they really understand how to work with the kids with on the spectrum. Surfers and mates Luke Hallam, Sam Moyle and Tom Johnston started up Ocean Heroes four years ago. There's a demographic of our society, people on the spectrum who miss out on going surfing through no fault of their own. They're all physically capable to do so and that's why we started Ocean Heroes. The surf building confidence in the kids, both physically and mentally. Water for lots of kids is a sensory thing that calms them down and it's a skill development as well. Okay, stand up, slowly. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. It's just exciting and awesome. And bad. <laughs> the WA charity is so in demand they've had to expand carving up the beaches of Bondi and at Anglesey, and most recently taking over Melbourne's urban surf park. Sometimes they've had events where they had to cancel events as well um, because of the weather and things like that. And that actually affects the kids, you know, they get because they get quite worked up and excited. It's just a great opportunity to give the Ocean Heroes guys um, to try out what they do in this environment. Um, and then hopefully we can turn it into some kind of sustainable event. Side on, come here. Side on. Stand side on, side on. All our volunteers taking the kids out wave after wave. Most jumped right into it. Others were a little overwhelmed. Every kid's different. Uh, some of them jump in head first and have an absolute ball and other times they take a lot of coaxing and convincing to build that confidence and that trust to get them out on the board. Up you get. Standing up, standing up, standing up. But most guys wouldn't even kind of consider, you know, taking their time out to do this stuff. You guys use your own annual leave to volunteer. What's the drive for you guys? What makes you want to do this? I, I, well, for me personally, I think, you know, and it's, I'll probably speak on behalf of everyone, but just that getting, sharing that stoke with the kids. And we know how much we love it and the rush that it gives us and so being, being able to share that um, with kids who ha haven't had that experience is, mm. is special. Oh, beautiful. What a lovely story. I get very emotional because they're good mates oh, of mine. Hello. So yeah, um, and I'm just so proud to be part of oh, the Ocean oh, Heroes family. Yeah, 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 but nice. the whole goal is for them to hopefully do it nationally. I don't know mm. what, sorry. That's <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, and they're just good people. Yeah. And the, mm. the, the, the effect that they have for the kids and the mm. families, because they don't have these, you know, activities that mm. they can go to. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's okay. A shout good. out to the volunteers. Yeah. They take their time out, and then also to um, Luke, Sam, and Bomber uh, in WA. Thanks for allowing me to be part of it. And Whoa. actually, Nine Cares has donated two boards, so I'm oh, so proud of great. us as yeah. a family here. And I've personally donated a board as well to them. Oh, so. beautiful! Oh. So sorry. Oh. Oh. Yeah. And don't you worry about crying on air because Alex <laughs> cried before doing the NRL. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a beautiful, well done. It was a really gorgeous story. Oh,